Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new Fortnite video. Today we're going to be talking about Chapter 3 and why there's still a lot of people, especially on older consoles and low-end PCs, that are struggling right now in Chapter 3 Season 1 to gain the best performance. And there is a big comparison between Chapter 2 and Chapter 3, so we're going to talk about those key differences. It's stuff a lot of Fortnite YouTubers aren't talking about right now for some reason, uh, but it has to do with the Unreal Engine. For the past Chapter 1, Season 1, ever since the debut of Fortnite, Unreal Engine 4 has been the main mechanism and it's been the entire architecture of Fortnite. That changed as of two weeks ago with the launch of Chapter 3, Season 1. They switched it to Unreal Engine 5, which is going to have a whole host of more benefits. Also, before I forget guys, be sure to drop a like and subscribe, otherwise Bob Ross will throw you in his montage. Just some little... I really hope you've enjoyed this little painting. That clip is also courteous to Brux. Go check him out on YouTube. That dude has some amazing YouTube videos. They're so funny. I love them. One of the biggest changes that Epic Games is unveiling with the Unreal Engine 5 is Nanite, which is pretty cool. Essentially what it's going to be able to do is take uh, like the, the game Fortnite and be able to completely change everything in the entire landscape and it's good for mass changes to the map, mass changes to the entire game as a whole. Um, if you want to have the entire sky differently, it's a lot easier for them to do that. Same with the ground, water, trees. Like they can change everything on a macro and a micro level, which uh, which is very beneficial. Um, there's also this new feature of Lumen, which we'll get to, which basically changes the way light reflects. Um, I'm going to throw up an image on screen. This is brand new. You can see the Winterfest from last year compared to the Winterfest right now with the brand new architecture that they have being developed. And so for the reason of all these changes with Unreal Engine 5, they just unveiled it two weeks ago. They are actually still in a beta phase of Unreal Engine 5. It's, it's still being developed and it's under construction, but this is the very first game that's been unveiled with Unreal Engine 5. Um, it's caused a lot of people to lose huge amounts of FPS on low-end machines. For instance, like people who I knew had 60 to 90 FPS in Chapter 2 are now struggling to get 30 to 60 FPS on some of these low-end machines. And I don't want this just to be a negative video about how the new changes with Chapter 3 Fortnite is going to be a, a downside, because it's definitely not. So I don't want this just to be a negative video. I want to go over some good benefits that you guys can utilize to increase your FPS. We'll be discussing all that. First off, I do want to cover the Fortnite requirements. It's a very interesting section because you can actually see what they would require in terms of graphics and to be able to perform well in Fortnite. The recommended settings are an NVIDIA card, GTX 960 uh, or later, AMD R9 280 or later, or equivalent DX11 GPU, um, two gigabytes of video RAM, and a processor of a Core i5-7300U or a Ryzen 3 3300U. Um, they also re recommend at least eight gigs of RAM or higher. Now technically the game can still function uh, on the very lowest specs, but um, it could still work on Intel HD 4000, Intel Iris Pro 5200, processor core i3-3225, and, uh, and 4 gigs of RAM. So technically it could still run on a machine like that. And then of course then there's your like epic quality presets which are ridiculous like GTX 1080 and 5700 XT. Like those are the big boy things that you'll want to want to get if you want to get at least like 240 FPS and uh, 60 in epic quality. So those aren't really things we're concerned with. We're more concerned with the lower end PC in, in the machines that are actually literally being throttled right now and, and unable to perform as good as they did in chapter two. Now, um, on to some more good news here. Right now, if you go into your settings, there is a big change that's happened actually to performance mode, and they will be further expanding on this, but you'll notice performance modes rendering mode is now called performance beta. So in the past, we did see that performance mode was alpha, so they have moved on to a beta stage, and this is also attributed 
to Unreal Engine 5. They're going to be coming out with later updates in Chapter 3 that are going to be even better performance than you have right now. So the good news is, yes, Epic is working on brand new stages of performance mode that'll give you a better quality in the future. It just means right now we're basically forced to try to tweak our performance on our PCs to give them as much FPS as they did before. So um, I do also want to let you guys know, not a lot of people get notified of every video I do because I do videos almost on the daily, but I just came out with a brand new video for FPS boosters. They're free applications, you can download them right now. I tested out three of them in that video, I'll have it linked in the description. It's very interesting because I was able to gain 60 to 90 FPS just from downloading those applications. I literally just downloaded, uh, the last one I did was Razer Cortex. And when I downloaded it and then restarted my PC, I had almost 90 more FPS I did than the default FPS before I downloaded any of those apps. So an awesome free way you guys can probably get a huge amount of your FPS if you haven't done any of those FPS boosters. Go check out that video. You'll be very thankful you did. Um, as for the lag issues that some people are facing, it's a completely separate issue. Um, I did cover a bit about that on how to fix your, your ping if you're, if you're having really high ping. Um, those, a link to that will also be in the description. Uh, those are good videos that'll help you optimize your machines while we wait for more performance mode updates to come out by Epic Games. But the good news is they are working on version 2 of performance mode, also called performance mode beta. And we can expect a lot more updates on it very soon. I'll have a link to this Epic Games support article as well down in the description. It's a very good article. It does help you troubleshoot low frame rates in Fortnite very effectively. We've talked about all these tips on the channel. Uh, like verifying your system meets the Fortnite requirements, we already checked that. Verify your game files. If you guys don't remember that, that's in your Epic Games launcher. There's a button there where you can verify the game. I'll pull it up real quick here. So all you do guys is go into your library here. You see Fortnite. There'll be three little dots here. And when the game's not running, you click on that and there's a verify button. So you'll do that. The next step is literally what we already talked about, Fortnite Performance Mode Alpha. Turn on that rendering mode in your settings. The fourth tip is keep your PC cool. So this is basically saying don't have, you know, a space heater right next to your PC. Try to keep it in a cool location, maybe near an AC duct, I don't know. Uh, but just somewhere where it's nice and, and cool. Um, update your graphics drivers. We've done this so many times on, on the channel. You just go to nvidia.com or amd.com, type in your graphics card and update the drivers. Uh, disable background apps. So this is super easy. In the bottom left, you're just gonna type in background and you'll get this option up here at the top, background apps. You're gonna click on that and then just turn off everything or better yet, just uncheck this button here. It says let apps run in the background. Uncheck that, make sure that's off. So that way no resources are being ran while Fortnite is and therefore gives you prioritized uh, performance while you're playing Fortnite. Just as a little additional tip, so that way you don't have to keep closing background apps. Also type in startup apps in your search icon. Click on startup apps at the top and do the exact same thing here. Make sure nothing launches on its own when you start up your PC. This will save you a lot of time so you don't have to manually close out all these applications and can just open whatever you need whenever you need it. And for the very last thing is defragment your hard drive. Your, your computers probably do this on their own, but if they don't, type in defrag down in your search bar. You'll see this option here, defragment and optimize your drives. I've literally done this today already. It says zero days since last retrim. And basically this is gonna sift through old or deleted files and delete them for you. Don't worry, it's not gonna remove anything you actually have on your PC and your, your hard drives are completely safe. But just click optimize and this will uh, make sure all of them are currently up to date and defragmented. Yeah, so I mean, you could run through all those tips, it takes literally three minutes and once you're done, you're literally up to date with everything Fortnite Epic Games um, tells you to do to make sure you troubleshoot low uh, frame rate. If you've done all those things, my best recommendation is try playing on a lower resolution if you're still having 
um, very low FPS and just wait for updates because we know that they're still updating it and basically just chill out and wait for those next performance mode updates because we know they're going to happen. They're going to help you out so, so much and get your FPS bumped up. Epic Games always pulls through with those types of things. But as always, guys, I appreciate you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out for now.